Motor Technology, Mr. Dennis Ng! Your time begins now. Hi, I'm Dennis Ng. I am the CEO founder of Mobile Philippines. I would like to start my pitch with a video. Here in the Philippines, we've got nearly 900,000 small and mid-sized businesses. Unfortunately, due to our terrible logistical structure, many of them were forced to invest big money into purchasing their own delivery van, even though they barely use it. If you're an investor, consider this. There are 15,000 underused delivery vans in Metro Manila alone. 15,000. We created a powerful new app to let SMEs take advantage of it and created an investment opportunity for you that's, in a word, huge. It's called Mover, and it's going to be the Uber of cargo delivery. With Mover, any SME can get an instant delivery van quote and book a van or a lorry with just a few quick clicks. The cost, just 18 US dollars per trip. With Mover, the business owner can track the delivery van live. Share its ETA with their customer via the app, SMS, email, or WhatsApp, and even leave a review and rate the driver too. By the end of 2017, Mobile will have nearly 8,000 underutilized vans signed up as partners, helping SMEs to save tons of money. With every trip, Mobile takes a 20% cut. At four trips per day per van, that's a lot of profit potential. If you're looking for a rock solid investment, this is your chance to get in on the ground floor. With an opportunity that's going to revolutionize the logistics industry here in the Philippines. Come over. Move at a click. Okay, uh, forgive me if the translation is not efficient because I just spoke it through fiber. Anyway, uh, in the Philippines, there are two major logistic problems. First is the, the in-house fleet. Most of the small medium company bought their van because they cannot find a good outsourced delivery service. And this is very costly investment and maintenance. And our outsourced delivery service is very inefficient and the, the, the costing is very inconsistent. They charge by the day, they charge by the hour, or sometimes per trip. So I created Mobile Solution. Mobile is an online uh, marketplace connecting by uh, connecting delivery vans and its users. Uh, Mobile has mobile app. They can book through website also or they can call our hotline. We still have the call center agent in Manila. The market size. Philippines is the fastest growing economy in Southeast Asia. And we are also the fastest growing population. We have 1 million population now, and 50% are now using smartphone. And yes, there are 15,000 underutilized banks. We want them to join Uber. These are the small medium companies who are victimized by investing in their own van because they cannot find a good outsourced company. Who are we catering? We catering to B2B, B2C, and C2C. B2B and small B2B like a vegetable dealer delivering to their multiple restaurants clients. The B2C uh, big appliance center who can now offer a same day delivery. And C2C for those individuals who want to move houses, move flats. Our business model is we take 20% of our total fare. We have three delivery vans, three, three types. We have the van, van, van plus and truck. Van plus is a driver and it comes with a helper. You know, Filipinos are very spoiled. They want somebody to load it for them and unload it for them. So we get $4, four dollars uh, per trip commission. Where we are now, we already served 3,000 bookings since we implemented this January and July. And by end of 2016, we will be having 87,000 because we already signed up an exclusive contract with the biggest appliance center in the Philippines to fulfill their 500 deliveries per day. Or we are projecting a 240,000 revenue by end of this year. Van partners. We have 80 vans in our fleet now and we have 300 vans being um, check and by end of 2016 we want to have 500 vans in our field and by 2017 we will be the biggest on-demand delivery service in the Philippines yes we will be the biggest so this is our van 
I'm Dennis Nam, I'm the CEO founder of Mober. I'm inviting you to join the Mober Revolution. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much, Dennis Ng from Mober Technology. Now we're turning it over to the judges. Your time begins now. So, I like the space, the uh, logistics space, and it's a pretty interesting startup. Um, I love the video at the start as well. Wow, I think uh, you don't even have to speak, right? You can just stay offline and just play this video. <laughs> Show on stage and say, hello, I'm here to answer your questions. Uh, I've got a couple of questions. The first is, who is your competition in this particular market? For example, is Ninja Van operating in, in the Philippines? Uh, does Grab or a Kojak equivalent operate in the country and are they providing it as well? Uh, the second is, what is the utilization rate of the vans that are currently in your fleet? Uh, how much idle time do they spend uh, in, during the course of a working day? Okay, uh, we have a recent uh, competitor. I think we had E2B in Philippines. I think delivery is coming to Philippines. Uh, for the utilization, uh, our van has an average of 4 bookings per day. They're going up to the 15,000 underutilized van. Usually, this is small, medium enterprises serves their delivery, two delivery per day, and after that, it's already been underutilized. We want to give them two more bookings per day so they can make more money. I have a question in terms of what and how. So what things actually you can deliver? Can you deliver perishables? Can you deliver food? Can you deliver... Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we deliver veg ball. Like for example, the B2B that we have, uh, the veg ball dealers, they ask us to deliver vegetable to their uh, restaurant chains. Uh, we also shuttle pets. Uh, amazingly, that we shuttle pets from the from their house to the airport. Yeah, they, they ship pets. In, in terms of how, so like you said, Philippines has actually a lot of islands. So how do you deal with inter island delivery? Uh, okay, the internet island delivery is not on market. It will be very costly if you they go to Mober. Mober only serves the same day delivery and within Metro Manila. And it will be very cost efficient if we only serve at least a maximum of 15 kilometers. Outside from that, they have to go to the traditional logistic, it will be cheaper. Do you do intercity delivery or you just want you just do intra city delivery? I mean I just want to make it clear. Uh, intra Within Metro Manila, as of the moment, we are in Metro Manila. Uh, then we are going to Cebu by end of October. Okay, understood. Thank you. How much the the average shipping price? I mean, per customer. Or I'm okay. not sure. So I'm not. I have no idea about that. Okay, per trip, uh, the average is around eighteen dollars per trip. We have four trips per day. Uh, that's the max. I think the maximum we can deliver is five trips per day. Because the traffic in Manila is too bad. Yeah. I'm just, I just want to just check this again. So you have 3,000 bookings that you have fulfilled so far from January to July. So it's a six month period. And you have 80 bands? You have 80 bands. Okay. Uh, 80 bands as of July. But for the 3,000 bands, sir, we deliver it. Uh, using our own five bands during those time, we purchase five bands just to test, to test the market. And for those deliveries that you have, how many of them were actually paid deliveries and how many of them were subsidized or free? Okay, for, for the 3,000 bookings, uh, around 50% are free. Uh, I think it's the best marketing for us to offer free delivery, and the rest are rebooking and they experience uh, a very good uh, delivery service, so they just book already. And what is your month on month conversion uh, retention rate for these customers coming to you? And how many of the customers that were free customers have actually stayed on to pay after using your service? Around 80%. Uh, that's, that's high, 80%. Okay, we have 30 seconds left, if anybody has any more questions. If not, we'll just call time. 
Okay, thank you very much. Dennis Eng from Lower Technology.